Welcome to my first Halloween tutorial of the year everybody! We are starting off nice and easy with this jack-o-lantern look that you can definitely recreate at home. It is really simple, it is pretty quick as well, so let's get started! I'm going to start by laying down a base of primer on my face. I'm using a mattifying one and then I'm going to go over with my foundation, just the one that I always use. So a little bit of concealer underneath my eyes to cover up my dark circles. And I'm going to make sure everything is blended in nicely. Then I'm going to powder everything off with this banana powder. And then it's time to get started with the look. So I'm going to use this eyeshadow palette and I'm going to take this pinkish color. And first thing I'm going to do is to draw kind of a line underneath my lower lash line. And this is going to be the lower part of my triangle that I'm going to make later. So I'm just kind of using this light color to outline my shape. So I am outlining the entire triangle. This is going to be my kind of Chico Lantern's eye. So when I have outlined everything with pink, I'm going to go over with this darker orange color. And I'm going to do pretty much the same thing, so go over those lines again. But I am going to make the line a little bit thinner so that the lighter color functions as a transition color and it all blends out nicely. So I'm also going to take that orange onto my nose just a little bit, where I'm going to have my kind of nose carved out later. And then it's time to go in with some black, so I'm just taking a little bit of black eyeshadow and I'm going to pat this all over my eyelids from my lash line up to my eyebrow. And eventually I'm going to cover all of this triangle with black, but I am going to make it a lot smaller than where the orange is, so that there's enough room for me to blend this out and still maintain that orange kind of edge on the outside of the eye triangle thing. So I'm just going over with layers and layers and layers of black until it's nice and opaque and then also bringing it underneath my eye as well. Just make sure that this is really black. Okay, so then I'm taking a clean brush at first and just blending out the edges a little bit. And I'm going to start working on that a little bit of a smoky effect now. So when I have gone over with my just um, bare brush, I'm going to take a little bit more of that black eyeshadow onto this blending brush and again blend it out and really work on that beautiful kind of smoky effect where the black really transitions into the orange. So blending on all sides and then I'm going in with that brush that I used earlier again without any products on and just use this to blend the orange out a little bit more. Again we're going for a very kind of smoky blended look here. So keep blending, blending, blending. Okay, so back to the pink, and with this I'm going to outline the kind of lower part of my pumpkin head. So I'm just drawing a line on my cheek to kind of create those puffy bits in the middle of the pumpkin. And I'm going to make sure that they align with the lines that are going up from my eye triangles. So then I am going over with the orange again. Same thing as I did with the eyes. The line with the orange is a little bit smaller than the line with the pink. And then I'm going to go over with just a tiny, tiny, tiny amount of black eyeshadow to deepen it up a little bit and make it look like a shadow, like it's actually hollow in there. And then I'm moving on to the next kind of fat part of the pumpkin, which is going to be the outside of my face. And I'm also going to apply some orange just pretty much everywhere on the lower part um, of my face, every everywhere along my jawline. And then going over with some black again just to create a little bit of that pumpkin shape on the bottom of my face. Okay, time to carve out the nose. So I am going to create a little triangle on the tip of my nose, just using a black eyeliner pencil. And I'm going to keep mine quite small. You can make yours larger, of course, if that's the look you're going for. Then I'm going to color it in with the eye pencil at first, and then I'm going to go over with a little bit of black eyeshadow to make it nice and opaque and matte. Alright, moving on to the lips. So I am going to start by applying a little bit of concealer on the edges of my lips to make sure I'm working with a blank canvas here. And then I am going to take my black eyeliner pencil again and start drawing in my mouth shape. Now I am just going to draw your typical kind of Jack-O-Lantern shape 
which is very squared because obviously you're using a knife to carve this out, typically. So I'm creating my little teeth here and I am going to create a little bit of a smile on the outside edge just for a little bit of extra creepiness. I always think this looks really creepy. <laughs> okay, so next up is black lipstick. I'm going to apply this straight out of the tube wherever it's possible, um, or just pretty much just on my lips. And then I'm going to take a little brush and apply the rest of my lipstick with the brush just to color in the rest of the shapes to get a little bit more precision. So I am going to do this all over and then I'm going to go over with one last layer of black lipstick just to make sure it is really opaque. And then going back to the eyes, I am going to apply a eyeliner pencil on my waterline and I am also going to tightline with this so that everything is nice and black up there. And then it's time for some false eyelashes. So I chose a really full thick and long pair for this look. And for my lower lashes, I'm just going to apply a little bit of mascara. Then going back for some touch-ups. And the very last thing I'm going to do is just pat some black eyeshadow over my lips to make the color a little bit more long-lasting and to mattify it as well. And there is your Jacko Lantern makeup all done. So thank you for watching, guys. Stay safe this Halloween and enjoy yourselves. See you later.